Well, if you, if you getting into this, you're a fool. You know what I mean? Listen, well, they my, signed him. I had a lot of deals. My manager. Then I had some stuff that was over there. I walked away from it. We was like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, got, you got Jeff Jam yeah, on yeah, the motherfucking yeah, yeah. corner. There was a lot on deck, but it was like, once I walked away, once I, you know, changed my, from from this way of living, I, I kind of threw the baby out with the bathwater. Rap was the baby. I threw it out right along with the bathwater. Once I stopped the street life, I didn't want to talk about, I seen murder. I, I'm talking about real murder. Right beside me. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to, I'm like, this shit ain't cool. I can't represent that. I can't, bro. Like, it's, it's not... It, it wasn't cool to me, but now I've been away for it, from it for 20 years or whatever. I got more perspective as a 40-year-old man than I, when I was a 20-year-old man. I got more perspective now. Plus, when I was rapping out here in the street, everybody had... Just because just cause niggas are killed for you don't mean they love you. That's what a lot of these young boys don't understand. Just because somebody will go to war for you, niggas are killed for you. That don't mean that don't mean they love you. The same niggas that are killed for you will kill you. And that's what I learned. Right. Like, What's right. Real, real right. like that's just bad right. Yeah, it's 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 the streets. Don't let the streets fool you. Don't let the love fool you. Yeah, we gonna put. I'm gonna put that together. So we all be on there. That's why I record. I'm gonna be speaking from two ends. One is a mess, but also as a war. I'm the war leader. Yeah, but listen. Every all of and the bottom line is, I need everyone in the real world. When I talk, when I, he know. When I, when I first met him, he used to come in there and he'd be like, I can do that. I can do that. And I just kept watching. And he ain't know what I was about. You know how people drive through, they be watching. You know, that's why I was checking him. Why don't I just do this for something? And we just kept talking. But then he kept coming and saying, I can do this. And what else I tell you? Eventually, I said, I believe it. Because he had been doing it so much, I had a chance to see so much, he real with it. So, so what happens is you got a lot of people out here that's doing good stuff, mm -hmm. but it's so hard to convince people or even to convince yourself that I'm doing something good and that people believe what you say. Thing I think what is you burn much, out like me. See, as much as we say, right? You drop, you drop you your pretzels, partner. Is that, uh, oh, yo, mm -hmm. we want you to change your life, right? We want you to do this. We're here to support you. But my thing is this. they like, well, hold on. Oh, hey, listen. I'm fucked up out here. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got to do what I got to do out this moment. Yeah. Tell you. So you what are you bringing to the way. table for me to say I'm getting money? I'm not going to work in that motherfucker yeah. make naked. Two hours out, some motherfucker give see, me the ass to kiss. True. Only see, part, that's the thing where but that's where pride got, kills some of our people though. Like when I started over from the pride. bottom, no. But listen, when I started from the bottom, bro, I was making like nine dollars an hour. I went from the big pro with all the rap shit, all the street shit, to getting on the trolley with a fucking security uniform. I had to put all my pride to the side. I started all the way from the bottom, but it taught me something. I worked my way up from there. The whole thing is, how serious do you value your life? Do you understand what the true riches of this world, of this life, is? What's the true riches? Because ten dollars, niggas won't wait, take a twelve dollar hour job, right? Cause they feel like it's nutty. They won't drop their pride. They'll go do some dumb shit, get locked up, do 20 years. Then you come out and you can't even get hired for a 12 dollar job. Now you into some fish fry shit, getting six, seven dollars an hour, yeah, looking sure. loony in the hood, yeah. looking yeah. loony. Yeah. Just cause but you want to put your pride to the side. Yeah. I put my pride to the side. I tell niggas I ain't doing well off this rap shit. That's that's gonna come in the future. Cause now that I'm rapping again, but I'm doing well off of real life. I work, got my credit together and got things together, bro. But it's the way I put my pride to the side. Now I'm doing well. You know I move my family out the hood. Move my family out the hood. You know what I mean? Yeah, with yourself. Yeah, yeah, of course that. Yeah. Oh, without a doubt, it's God. Man, God gave it it's God. Roman earth and this motherfucker right. Roman. But God helps those who help he themselves, too. God. Yeah. But God helps those who help themselves. Well, he lost the battle. He's winning right now. This shit going on. He's winning. He already lost. You know, spiritually. Yeah, he already lost. Spiritually. Yeah, he already lost. They never going to show the deposit. That's what I'm saying. But even what's in the world right now outweigh all the good that's in the world right now? No, no it don't. No, it don't. See, but what he's trying to do, he's doing. That's what I'm saying. Because, listen, 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 when we first started yeah, talking, it was like, I was saying, man, these, these brothers don't, don't, 
don't want to hear nothing about nothing. Then you started bringing it up as far as mm -hmm. good stuff. I oh, know. I mean, and you know, I'm like, like, well, you know. Oh, these, are the these are the good brothers. These are the real. These are the good brothers right here. Yeah. You know, I'm good with them. And, uh, and you know, her husband used to do the same with the group. Donate them I know, yeah. So listen, I get on the drink, right? So we start talking about everything. So we tell she ended up about my weekend, how this and that, and they're going on or something like a question pop up on the drink. Like, we get to talking real. She said, hold up. I didn't even know you got this side of you. I thought you were just like that. We went and shot. I got to get you back here for the up for another day. Uh -huh. No, I'm really listening. I get into it though, but you know, it's like, you definitely got to, it's just, I pick my time. It's a I uniform. It's like anything you do. When you're on your business I mean, I world. Try to talk to a lot more, but they don't wear that stuff. If you promoting parties, you ain't gonna be talking wisdom at that moment. You like, yo, come on down. It's going down. You you put on a uniform like any other job in the world. You promoting a party. When I'm rapping, I'm going to rap. I know people want to hear. I'm going to give you wordplay and all that. But if you want to talk to me as a man, because my lifestyle, the the Lord said to judge a tree by the fruit that it bears. Don't judge me by nothing else but by the fruit that I but by the fruit that I bear. You could, don't even judge me by me cussing in the rap leg, man. Judge me by what I'm doing. When you find out, yo, he touching, reaching out to young people, such as my man right here, doing some things we gonna work on through the rap and all that. Judge me by the fruit that I bear. Do you? See me? Do my young boys? Is my young boys out here killing people? No. Or is my young boys honest working young boys? Or are they rapping and but staying out of trouble, trying to live clean? So judge me by the, the fruit that I bear. Judge me by my family. Judge me by how my family's doing. Judge me by that. If you can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm gonna send this to him so he can send you. I got a good portion of this whole conversation recorded. That's what it's always about. I'm gonna figure it up, man.